Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Hi, I'm Donna Lynn from Vigor and Trim, and you are at Celebrating Act 2. This is Short and Sweet, where I give you one exercise move and one nutritional tip so that you can stay healthy, strong, and have an active lifestyle. Today, we're going to do what's called a knee repeater. Why are we going to do that? Because it actually helps work on your core, right? And it can give you a little bit of cardio work too. It's pretty easy. So you could do it just about anywhere you are. Well, maybe not in the store, but you get what I mean. Hey, so let's get started. Now you may hear my chickens out there balking. They talk a lot during the day, but don't worry about them, they're happy. So we're gonna do that knee repeater. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have one leg back here and one leg in front. Now my front leg is carrying most of the weight, all right? I'm gonna take my arms up at an angle. Let me go the other side so you can see my good arm. I'm still healing this one. So my arm is up, the, up at an angle. Now my core is always engaged, all right? Now I'm gonna bring elbows to knee and push it back. Okay, elbows to knee and push it back. Now this leg just touches the floor to keep me stable. All right, and then like that. Now you can add a little more speed to this to get it more aerobic. Okay, like that. Or you can just slow it down and make it really crunch, really work. Pull that belly button in. Okay, pull that belly button in. The work is on that front leg and in the core, okay? Or fast, okay? All right, hey, that's pretty easy, right? Yeah, you'll like that one, that one's kind of fun. Our nutritional tip today is all about snacky, snacking and salty foods. Now they are not inherently unhealthy in moderation. Now I know us Americans tend to overdo everything. So pull that in a little bit, all right? And this is what you're gonna look for. First, let me tell you a little bit what that is. Salt is a nutrient-rich mineral. We need that. And, and salt is made up of sodium chloride. And that sodium is about 40% of that combination. And we need that sodium too. We need that sodium to survive. Helps with our muscles helps with our blood flow, it's really important. So you can't not have it, but you need to keep it low. And how much, how low? Well, about, uh, let's say less than 5% of your daily value. All right, now how are you gonna find that out? Well, if you're snacking, you generally have a label that you can read, and that's where you'll find it, right on that label. But here are some suggestions. How about dry roasted unsalted cashews? Oh, yummy, and protein too, can't beat that. Or how about some hummus with veggies? Oh, also full of protein and really yummy, right? And crunchy vegetables, mm, love it. And there's a couple things too I was thinking of, let me see. See, there were some, oh, I know, spicy chickpeas. Now, chickpeas are just garbanzo bees, right? And you can just kind of stir fry a little bit, just a tiny bit of oil, maybe olive oil and some spices. Make them any kind of flavor you want. And they are yummy and full of protein as well. And not many calories, lots of fiber in that. And there's a bunch of, what about those pea crisps? You can actually buy them in a bag if you don't have time to cook. All right, and they have less than 2% so. Anyways, you have lots of choices, but don't eat too much. Remember, less than 5% of your daily value. Well, now you know why I do this. I do this so that you're healthy and strong and you have a body that feels good and looks good and moves well. And I'll look forward to see you next time at Celebrating Act 2. This is short and sweet. For more on Celebrating Act 2, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life.